In this video, you will learn how to create shapes with our brand new pen tool. Go to left toolbar and click on the pen tool icon. Now, you can start creating your shape anywhere in your canvas. Simply click and create your first vector point. Now, you see a line following your cursor and waiting for you to create a second vector point. Click anywhere and create your second vector point. You have to have at least two vector points to create a line. Let me just increase the stroke width to show better. While creating a new vector point, if you click and hold you will enable the Bezier mode. This way, you can create smoother lines between your points. If you have more than two vector points, you can go to first point you created and close the line and turn into a shape. After you close the lines and make a new shape, you can double click on any empty space to finish vector editing mode. Or, you can press escape. If you want to keep editing the same shape, you can double click on it and enable the vector editing mode. You can still select the point and move, or can change the Bezier lines as you want. You can select the point and turn into Bezier. Simply press command key and drag. Now, this vector point turned into a Bezier. And, while you are in vector editing mode, you can add other vector points between other points or on the lines. By just clicking on the line, I have added a new vector point and, also, I can turn it into a Bezier by holding command key. But, if I want to turn this back to vector point instead of a Bezier, again, I just press and hold command key and click on the vector point. Again, pressing command key and dragging, and turning into a bezier. You can also change the handle angles individually. For that, I press and hold option key and drag the handle indicator. This way, I disable the mirroring function, and not affecting the other bezier handle. If you are done with vector editing mode, simply double click on any empty space or press escape key. Now, you can apply fill color or stroke to this shape. Now from design editor mode, we jumped into vector editing mode and let's jump into animation mode, which is only possible with Artboard Studio. I can animate this stroke options by just adding keyframes. Change the stroke width into something else and automatically add a new keyframe. You can also open the stroke options to edit dashed lines or curved types. The best part, you can create animations with the values for the dash size and offset. Just adding values for dash and moving my playhead to another time to create second keyframes for the motion. Now, you have created a simple animation for your stroke lines in seconds. With the same way, you can create animation for your stroke color. You can also use your shape as a mask for photos. Let's put a stock photo from Unsplash into my canvas. Make this photo a little bit smaller. Now, if I choose both the shape and photo layer, I can mask this photo inside this shape from masking options on the top bar. And still move this photo inside the mask by holding command key. And you can change and customize your shape while you have a photo layer inside your mask. Also, I can use this shape to create a text on it, warping the text on the path. But before putting the text on this path, I want to make it smoother. For that, I need to remove some unnecessary vector points, because the text will seem smoother with less amount of vector points. Select the vector point and press delete or backspace to remove this vector point. It will automatically connect other vector points to each other. I also changed the bezier here a little bit, because the text will break on these points and they need to be linear. Now, let's add a text on this shape. 
I can change the direction or path side from this text options menu. As you see, just because I have less amount of vector points, my text renders smoother. You can also change the offset option from this input to move the text layer as you want. And of course, you can also create keyframes and animations for this offset move. This is basically how our new pen tool works. You can create amazing designs, illustrations or motion graphics with it. It is already available, go and experience now. Looking forward to hear your feedback.